My name is Becky. I grew up in a, a Christian home. I had a mom and dad, you know, just a normal life. By my early 20s, I got into a relationship that I probably shouldn't have gotten into, and my virginity was taken from me. I felt at that moment that I was like baggage, like who would ever want someone like me? And from there, I became very promiscuous, um, did a lot of partying. When I was around 27 years old, I'd been with a guy maybe a few months, and I got pregnant by him. And I remember telling him, I'm keeping this baby. If you can go on with your life, I'm not gonna ask for one penny from you. And I actually came home and gave birth to a beautiful little girl named Zoe. But there was so much trauma buried in my past. It's kind of like all of a sudden it just continued um, with the postpartum depression and it went, I went right back into really heavy drinking, um, heavy partying, promiscuity again. When Zoe was around nine months is when I got pregnant for the second time. Different guy. I knew the guy that impregnated me wouldn't want anything to do with us and he didn't. So that is when I made a decision immediately, I'm going to get this abortion. And then again, that same vicious cycle starts happening. I go into promiscuity and drinking and partying and all those things again. And then when Zoe was around three years old, that's when I had my second abortion. I got pregnant again, had another one with another random guy. He didn't want anything to do with us. And I remember at the second abortion is when I wanted to die. My abortions were done in complete secrecy. No one knew what I was doing. You push it down, but it comes out in your destructive behavior without even realizing it. When Zoe was around five years old, a man walked into our lives and named Ernie. We fell in love, and then a year and a half later after that, uh, we got married in 2012. Once I had really truly surrendered to the Lord, I was okay with telling people about my abortions. I had no qualms about it. I just was like, this is who I am. God's forgiven me. I'm moving on with my life. Someone came up to me and told me, they're like, I heard about your two abortions. She said, I think you should come to a retreat designed for anyone who's had any pregnancy loss that includes abortion and miscarriage that is sponsored by Real Options, and you should come, Becky. And I was like, no, I'm good. Why in the world would I want to go to a retreat that has to deal with your abortions? That's just silly. I'm good. Why would I want to, you know, bring that up? She went over and talked to my husband, and he goes, great idea. So that's when my husband and I went to a Rachel's Vineyard retreat. I got there and I thought, I'm not gonna be vulnerable with Ill anybody. I sat down, I was actually angry, but by the end of the night, God started doing this deep work that I didn't even know I needed. I had such incredible self-hatred and unforgiveness towards myself that I had been carrying since I was a little girl, even before the abortions of my unworthiness that was all connected to so many different things in my past that made me understand why I had my abortions. It started on Friday night. By the Sunday, I remember thinking, I have to love myself. And it actually changed the trajectory of what I wanted to do on that third day. I'm like, this Rachel's Vineyard Retreat is the most amazing thing that Real Options is doing. I want to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today, I am the HOPE Program Manager. I oversee all the retreats and HOPE support groups and anything related to pregnancy loss that includes abortion and miscarriage. The retreat gave me a new awareness of who I am in Christ and that I have the gift to forgive myself. That is truly a freedom that real options 
Rachel's Vineyard Retreat gives to people, including myself, and I am the fruit of what Real Options has done.